Good morning. It is a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota. We are at 62 degrees right now. We're going to get up to 78 through the day. I have to go up to my in-laws for some yard work and I thought while well, I'm there we may as well run that same Christmas loop we did in the cold and show the difference in efficiency. So we're going to do the exact same route. There's a little bit of wind out today but that's all right. The temp should do most of the work for us. And so let's see how it goes. Let's get on the road. It's almost 10 a.m. 94% really didn't need that today but i'm trying to keep it consistent with the winter test i started a new trip here so that'll keep us on track and we'll do the same route we did in the winter let's get moving Just got here at 1037, it's 69 degrees. We only got down to 82%. I tried to stay five miles over the limit, but couldn't quite manage that through the city. Went a little bit faster, but it's just a beautiful day to drive. Here we see we went 35 miles, used eight kilowatt hours, and an average of 240 watt hours per mile. So pretty fantastic in this weather. I'm gonna be here for a little bit and then we'll take off and do the rest of the route. So pretty similar to the Christmas drive, just not doing Christmas today. I'll catch you on the way out. After hauling all that fresh pine, I smell fantastic. The downside is I'm a little covered with, uh, with pine sap. We're still at 81%, it's 73 degrees. So obviously there's no reason for me to charge, but to do the exact same path as we did on Christmas, I'm gonna stop at the Bloomington Superchargers, take the exact same route, then we'll make a brief stop at home, maybe wash some of the sap off, and then head down to my hometown and do that same path. So we'll keep you updated on the efficiency. It is relatively windy. That's kind of kicked up here. So it's saying only 11 mile per hour wind here but it's coming up from the south and it's fairly gusty. So we'll see how that is as we head south. Temperature's beautiful, a little wind isn't gonna be too bad. All right, we just got to the Bloomington Supercharger. A couple people charging up. It's a little mangy looking right now with all the snow melting and everything that was stuck in the snow is just sitting on the parking lot. So another week or so, it's going to look a little cleaner here, but we made it here with 70%. And so at 70%, it's up to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, 1247. Our consumption right now is uh, 249 watt hours per mile, according to the last 30 miles. Today we've gone 63 miles, used 16 kilowatt hours at an average energy of 250 watt hours per mile. The last trip has been 28 miles, 34 minutes, and 264. So using a little more juice coming south against that wind, but uh, still a beautiful day. Let's get on our next stop and we'll get that comparison. And obviously not charging here because we've got enough. Let's get rolling. <laughs> just like Christmas this is our pit stop at home I'm going to go in and clean up a little bit I get the tree sap off but we're here with 66 percent a little after 1 p.m 76 degrees still saying our current trip because I didn't get out from my in-laws was 36 miles average of 275 watt hours per mile now so and the overall trip is 72 miles with uh, 258 watt hours per mile and if we bring up the trip graph it's saying we still have 174 miles based on how we've been driving so we'll see how the day goes um, and how the wind treats us but we'll get moving again here in a minute fresh as a daisy I'm no longer pine scented fresh but I'm not sticky either so big plus it's 130 we got 66 percent in the garage here at 73 degrees but I'm sure it's still 76 outside let's head south against that wind
All right, it's 2.39 and we are at my brother's house. We got down to 41% and it's 82 degrees outside and very windy, especially across the field. But at least it's warm. The consumption graph is saying we still have 90 miles. I bet that's going to improve as we turn around and get the wind behind us. So, so far for the day, we've gone 124 miles, used 35 kilowatt hours, at an average energy of 279 watt hours per mile. So again, going against the wind, bumped that up considerably. Since our last stop at home, we've gone uh, 50 miles, average energy consumption of uh, 317 watt hours per mile. That just shows how that wind is playing into, into things. But again, well, if the wind isn't so bad without the cold, the cold isn't so bad without the wind. And I'll take another look at the Windy app to see what it's like right here. So here it's saying uh, 16 mile an hour winds and it's fairly gusty. But we're at the furthest point of our trip so far and we're going to be working back with that wind behind us. So that will help and uh, probably save some range on the return trip. One more stop in town to mimic the Christmas trip and then we'll get back on the road and get a final result. in town and if we look at the consumption graph for the last couple miles you can really see how things turned around when we started going with the wind instead of against it so let's get our numbers here 130 miles into the trip use 36 kilowatt hours 276 and since we didn't get out we're still on that same current trip but i'm gonna get out here for a couple minutes we're here with 39 percent at uh, 251 back in the car and it's 303 still at 39 percent 82 degrees we're gonna head home and get that final leg under our belt so let's get moving Alright, home at 3.59 with 21%, now 4 o'clock, 82 degrees, and our consumption graph is saying with the way we've been driving for the last 30 miles, that we have 57 miles of range left. Obviously plenty, I'm not quite sure how that compares, we'll have to look at the graph and check that out in the studio. But that last stretch was 47 miles at an average of 261 watt hours per mile. And so our full trip for the day was 176 miles, used 48 kilowatt hours of energy with an average consumption of 272 watt hours per mile. Pretty good for a windy day with a lot of driving variety, speeds, congestion, all that. So a quick rundown here in the studio and we'll take a look at this graph which has a couple interesting things. For the most part today's trip in green pretty well mimics the road trip in January that was blue. In fact even though we started with fewer percent we arrived home with exactly 21 percent in both cases. And the variations we're seeing there are mostly due to wind I think. In January the wind was coming out of the north and so as we headed north in that first segment and in the very last segment, you can see the blue line struggling there. In today's trip, the wind was headed out of the south, and so we had an easier time going north and a little more penalty going south on that trip between home and Ottawa. We lost more range there. On the Christmas trip, obviously we stopped to charge, and so that got ahead of us at the supercharger, and then that day had a lot of preconditioning, so a lot of penalties that aren't built into the other days, and much colder temps near zero. But the blue and green lines really show that cold temperatures that aren't that bad, like 30 degrees, aren't that bad compared to summer temperatures. What we're really seeing is variations in speed, wind, but basically the car's performing pretty well, except in that Christmas bitter cold. And then a quick look at the numbers overall, all together. Distance was pretty much identical. Somewhere on Christmas Eve, I picked up that extra mile. The total energy consumed is definitely due to the difference in temperatures. And I've got those average temperatures posted in black here, so you can make those comparisons. And you can see our watt hours per mile on our average energy came down significantly uh, with the better weather. And our consumption graph showed our extra miles after the trip improving as well. 
And if we break this down by percentage, on Christmas Eve, we did charge, we got 28%, and starting at 99% and going down to 2%, plus that 28, we ended up using 125% of the battery for Christmas Eve. January was much better using only 79% of the battery, and today by far was the best using only 73%. And this is mostly at highway speeds. So on these last two trips, if we add back those extra miles, what would our range have been? In January, it would have been 225 miles of range. And here in April, it would have been 233. But we were also leaving 6% on the table. In January, we were charged to 100%. And today, we charged to 94 So adding that back in, we would come to about 248 miles of range for this day's test. So not a stellar outcome when the warmer weather due to the wind, but interesting results. And I'm actually just about to get new tires. So we'll see how that affects range and efficiency going through the summer. Thanks for coming along today. It's so great to have this nice warm weather to be wearing shorts and to get outside and enjoy the springtime. So thanks for coming along. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.